What's up guys? It's Super DBZ 800 g here, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, the Bleach uh, 2018 movie review. Now, there are two different Bleaches uh, on Netflix. There is this one, which is the live action uh, 2018 movie based on the anime series, which is this one. Which has three seasons. Uh, I've watched all of Bleach. Uh, it only has three seasons. I feel like I'm missing a lot of Bleach. I don't know why. I feel like I'm missing a lot of it. Uh, they need to add more to... Uh, more to it. They need to add more seasons or whatever. I don't know. But um, I'm going to be giving a movie review on that. Now, if you haven't seen Bleach... Um, I would recommend that you watch the anime first to get a better understanding of the live action movie. Now, when I first heard that this, I, I didn't even hear that it was going to be a live action, like, actual movie. I saw it on, um... Netflix. I was on Netflix one day and I was just going to chill and find something to watch and it was on like the trending or like new tab whatever category you want to call it. And like my first thought was like, "Oh god. No, not Bleach. Like they they ruined Dragon Ball, they ruined Death Note, they ruined Attack on Titan like not Bleach. Come on. Like Okay, I'm gonna admit it. I saw Death Note, the um, the live action movie Death Note, when it first came out. Like, what was that? Two years ago, last year, and uh, it sucked. It sucked. If, if you guys want to watch the uh, anime series of Death Note, I should just you go watch it. It's on Netflix. It's honestly one of my favorite anime of all time. Just. It's really great, but the um, the um, the live action movie not so much. The live action movie sucked, and 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 yeah. Same with Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Evolution. The um, the live action movie it sucked too. It was garbage. Um, but yeah, man, it just. Same, same with Bleach. Like, my thought going into it was like, oh, God, not another crappy Netflix, like, live anime adaptation. Because considering the rep uh, that live action anime movies get, they're not that good. Like, really, a lot of the live action anime adaptations that they do, they suck. They don't even respect or acknowledge the source material that the that the movie is based off of, which is the anime. And that's that's what happened with Death Note and Attack on Titan, especially with Drag especially with Dragon Ball. Oh my god. Dragon Ball was the worst. Oh my god. It was so bad. It was bad, man. I don't even want to talk about Dragon Ball like that. But, um... So, Bleach... Uh, I would highly suggest you watch the uh, anime first. Just to get the just and idea of the series and the movie. Um... The... If you guys have seen Bleach, the movie uh, stops... At the um, very beginning of the Soul Society arc, um, where Ichigo goes to the Soul Society and uh, rescues Rukia, which, in all honesty, I love Bleach. I, I love the series and stuff like that. I actually just got a couple days ago the uh, Bleach manga. It was the volumes one through three, I believe, and that's where 
uh, the manga leads off is, um, the Grand Fisher, uh, the, the Hollow or whatever that, um, killed Ichigo's mom. Ichigo fight, uh, fights it, and he almost kills it, and he kills it, and yada, yada, yada. Uh, that's where the manga leads off. Um, the, uh, live movie adaptation, on the other hand, it, uh, it ends when, uh, Rukia, uh, gets, um, back to the Soul Society and gets taken back by Renji and, uh, Byakuya. Um, I will admit, going into this, I, I, I thought it was gonna suck. That, that was my first reaction with this movie. Now, normally, Netflix adaptations, I, I've seen all the me the anime Netflix adaptation memes where it's like manga, anime, and then it's like some funny Netflix adaptation, which th those memes are awesome. I love those memes. They're spicy. They're, they're good. But, um... This is the first live-action anime movie that I thought was actually not half bad. Like, it it was great to the source material. It followed it extremely well. The characters and the actors were very well cast, and they looked like each other. And it followed the manga. Um... You know, it just, it was, it was great, you know. Um, all the fight scenes were really good uh, for live action. All the humor was there when it was there. And, you know, I just, I just thought it was a great anime Netflix movie. I, I feel like it's the first live action anime movie that Netflix has that is actually legitimately good. The rest are trash. And, uh, yeah. If I had to rate, uh, the movie, um, I, I would give it a six, well, I give it a seven out of uh, seven out of ten. Six point nine seven out of ten. I I thought everything it it obeyed the source material great. The it stuck to the characters really well. The the action scenes were great. The fight scene between Renji and Ichigo was really good. Um, which, to be honest, when I first saw it, when it first came out, uh, it was in Japanese, with English subtitles. My, uh, my younger siblings make fun of me all the time, they're like, how can you watch this with English subtitles when it's in Japanese, it's so dumb. And I'm like, well, it's, I'm like, that's kind of how anime, like, a lot of anime has been dubbed, like a bunch of animes have been dubbed and stuff like that like me when it comes to anime i don't mind watching dub or sub it depends on the anime i've seen naruto in english and subbed and i like both same with dragon ball z heck even dragon ball super and i saw all of that in english subtitles which it was awesome. It was awesome. And they're working on what are what are they on? The Goku Goku Black Arc? Yeah. They're finishing dubbing the um Goku Black Or wait, I take that back. They finished the Goku Black Arc and uh now they're starting to dub the early parts of the Tournament of Power, which is nice. 
I can't wait to see the English dub of Tournament of Power because the Tournament of Power is arguably the most lit arc of Dragon Ball Super. At least until they uh, animate the Broly movie and make that into like TV episodes, which will be nice. I loved the new Dragon Ball Super movie. I thought I thought it was great, but um. Yeah, man. With, with Bleach, um, I, I think it's great, man. Um, it, but I thought, I thought the Japanese voice cast was, was really good. I thought everything was really good. Um, yeah, so, it was weird, too, because when I first watched it, or when I first watched the movie, I had stuff to do, and I had to turn it off, and when I went back to finish watching it, uh, it actually had different languages, so I watched it in English for, like, the last five minutes, which, in all honesty, I like the dub, too, the dub... For like the last five minutes I watched it was really good. But yeah, man, Bleach Bleach is crazy, man. I I love it to death. It's honestly one of my favorite anime of all the time. Um I feel like I'm missing like a lot of it though. Like sometimes I'll watch like fight scenes or like clips from Bleach and like I'll miss what's going down. Like, I only, where the anime ends, I, it ends, uh, um, uh, right after Aizen. Like, Aizen goes, uh, into that dimension hole thing with the hollows, and, uh, that's where the anime ends. And apparently there's a lot of other stuff that, uh, is in the Bleach anime. There's a lot of other stuff that, uh, that happens, but... The live action movie ends uh, right when Rukia is going to Soul Society. And it's different compared to the anime to the live action movie. In the anime, Ichigo obviously ran after Rukia and fought uh, Ke uh, Kapach or Kenpachi and fought Byakuya and trained with Yodoichi. Uh, for the Bankai to get uh, Zengetsu. And uh, in the movie, the live action movie, Rukia just erases everyone's memory, including Ichigo's. And she just goes to Soul Society, and that's it. And the only thing that Ichigo remembers of her is in the beginning when Rukia shows up at his school and she writes. In his notebook, make a scene or you're dead because no one, um, no one wants her, or no one, um, uh, she doesn't want anyone to know that she is a soul reaper. So that's the only thing that Ichigo, like, remembers. I, I thought if there is a part two to this, the Bleach movie, if they're gonna make one, they're they're gonna have to have the Soul Society arc in it. The Soul Society arc I thought was one of the greatest of um Bleach. I like all the other uh Bleach movies too. There was that uh that one where uh it's on Netflix, both of them are. But um there was the one where, like, uh, the Soul Society gets attacked by, like, the brother and the sister of Rukia or something like that. And they end up fusing with Rukia and Ichigo has to fight her or something. I forget. And then there's, like, the other one where Ichigo goes to hell to, like, stop, um... 
all the evil spirits that are trying to get out of hell and to stop this one dude and to fight off the hollows. And it's been so long since I've watched those. But, um... Uh, but, yeah, man. I, I just think it was a really great movie. Like I said, watch the anime first before you watch the live-action movie, but... I thought the manga was really great, too. The volumes 1 through 3 that I got. I actually just finished reading it today, and I thought it was it was, it was really, really good. Uh, but, yeah. That's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and subscribe. Peace, I'm out.